Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time we're going to be playing Solus. At least I think this is supposed to be a horror game. And in this we're going to be playing a space scrap guy who goes around flying derelict ships and scrapping them. And he comes across one in the middle of an asteroid field. And it might be empty. Or it might not. We'll have to see. So let's go ahead and just dive right in. Because it's actually, I, I did a test run and it actually looked like this uh, had a pretty nice, had pretty good voice acting and a nice little intro cinematic here. It was a pretty normal day for me, riding in the outer rim as always. Not many prizes though. I was pretty close from getting back home. And then I saw this ship, right there, standing still and undamaged. No signal, no radio feedback, scans returning nothing. I could have passed, but I'm a curious one. I'm so happy that that actually has halfway decent voice acting to start. I mean, that, that alone already puts this like a leg up so many other games. Alright, so F the toggle flashlight. Alright. That damn flashlight again. Uh, Alright, I can't detect any power here. Let's find some. Okay, why can I not move? What the fuck? Wait, what? Z? Oh, hold on, hold on. What the f- Okay, this is the second game I've seen that has ZQSD as a control scheme. What in the fuck is going on with that? What? Why is that a thing? Why is ZQSD a control scheme? Also, what does that say? Emergency... Generator... Okay, so we're on emergency power only. Um... Cool. Also, that's very strange, because it actually that makes it look like the door is scrolling. Like, it looks like the texture is scrolling. But, alright, what can I... Oh, hello. Click to use? Okay, I turned on... Oh, okay. R to toggle the wiring tool. Oop. Oh, hello. Okay, what is this? God damn it, it's doing that fucking thing that all of these goddamn Unreal games do, where they're, where they're running like shit, and they're not running at a smooth 60 FPS. I, I need to figure out what's going on with that, because, like, even my, my normal solutions aren't working right sometimes. Hang on, am I... Oh, oh wait, what? You you can't be serious and tell... Oh, okay. I was going to say, there's no way you're telling me that I have to go do this manually the entire way. Okay. Well, let's see. Did that open that up? Um... I can't open you... Okay, can I... Alright, I can... I guess that door is fucked. What about going over here? Because, yeah, there's only two options for where to go. Are you going to open for me? Oh, you are. Okay. Nice. Also, flash... Ah, there we go. Yeah, okay, so flashlight power is back. Thank you, God. You know, I will say that is actually a kind of cool little system. And I also will say that I'm I'm still really disappointed that this uses this goddamn PSX shader. All right. So let me see. There is someone left behind a tablet. I might be able to salvage something. Okay, so somewhere down that way has to be an emergency generator. Uh, well, first things first. Let, let's go search this. What does this say? Ready to scan. Parsing data. Current chunk type ident unidentified. Oh. Oh, hang on. I guess it's not so bad. Tonight we all watched a movie while Henry was keeping an eye on them. Finally, a bit of rest. I wasn't sure I could bear staying there with the team, but it's okay. Still a long way to go, but that'll do. Especially if it's a success. Interesting. So we're pulling, like, data chunks. Phase 01 is planned. Nothing more. Or planned. Nothing more. Nothing less. Results are stable. All subjects got into their routine according to our timeline. Security alert code red. Evacuation team on its way. We have to secure ourselves until then. Meeting from 5 in the living room. Boy, that went downhill fast. Order of mission for Project Solus. Reed Walter, scientist supervisor. Marine Page, scientist anesthetist. Rion Benson, scientist medic. Caleb Hartley, geneticist. Jared McPherson, IT, support and to security. And Damien Parsons is a pilot. So how is it? Good, good. The ship is nice. Nothing fancy, but it'll do. I miss you. Me too, honey. It's going to be a bit long, but hang on. I'll be back soon. Oop. Yeah, interesting. So yeah, th this is a, this is like a, f yeah, okay, so this is a family class spaceship. So people must live here then, right? 
Yeah, like this type of ship must be what people... Yeah, like a normal family would stay on. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me see something. So I can actually... I can read these. Yeah, and then there's these saved... Save the data. You know, honestly, this is actually pretty damn cool. I'm liking this quite a bit. Um, biggest issue so far is just the fact that Unreal fucking hates me, and... I had no clue what happened here. No sign of anyone. It looked clean and very messy at the same time. They just... ran away suddenly, it seemed. Yeah, as I was saying, the only real issues I have is that the game hates me, so it runs in a kind of inconsistent frame rate, or Unreal hates me, and the fact that they use this BSX shader. I, I really wish this trend would go away. Like, there are some games that it kind of can look good and be interesting, but I feel like for most of the time, it, it does make a game look worse. Okay, what is here? Okay, more data. To Supervisor pre-report, current phase 1 results right on track. As our initial simulation suggested, we can see visible results on our subjects. Six out of seven of them show progress, detailed report currently being processed, but the exerted visible signs are present. All of them straighten their threshold. One out of seven is not responsive. After a couple of test runs, we decided to leave him on P1 medication and proceed with phase two. We obviously never planned to move on to that all of our subjects with the data extracted is great. Okay, and here's... Okay, so this is the same thing. Security alert, and then... Is your pilot confident? About what? Your location? Is it safe? Hidden? You know as much as me you can't stay hidden out here, but he seems to be dead serious about other places basically avoid. Nobody comes here. Radar? Should be okay. Plenty of asteroids to cover us. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, an asteroid field would be damn difficult. I, I don't really know... I guess you could use thermal if you were trying to, like, scan for other ships and stuff. If there was, like, a military presence trying to make sure nobody was smuggling. Oh, so it is. Okay. Hmm. Strange. Let's see anything else kind of going around here, or am I going to have to go... Yeah, and you're offline as well, so I'm probably going to need to divert power somewhere, aren't I? Sorry, I just needed a quick cough there. Uh, let's see. Okay, so there's something in that room. There's something in that room, so these must be like... Blood. Was it why they left this place? An accident? <clears throat> You know, I feel like an accident doesn't really do justice to probably what happened here. I mean, you're reading about them performing experiments on the subjects. Like, you probably should be a little more cautious. What did I just hear? Hmm. Okay, so there's... Finally, the generator. Oh, good. Okay. Hang on. Let me go just look down here. Is there any... Okay, this is all sealed. Yeah, you know what? Um... Yeah, this is actually a pretty interesting little environment. I kind of like this. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I just really, really wish that it didn't look pixely. I also really like the shower. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like the, uh, just like the, the wide open tile type of layout. I like that a lot. So, let's see. Wiring tool. Wiring, wiring, wiring. Okay... Yes, I, I am aware of there being a fault. I... Hmm. Oh. Wait, what? Why wasn't I... Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna... Why, why wasn't I able to... Yeah, why wasn't I able to click on that in the wiring mode? That's very strange. Okay, so let's see. What do we have in here? I mean, they're just plants, man. Like, it's not like it's a pet, it's just a plant. The plant is probably going to die anyway. Person's uh, running low on toilet paper. Also, that is a very, very tiny toilet. That seems almost unusably small. Unless that's not a toilet, unless that's a trash can. In that case, never mind. In which case, what, was it just like... Oh, I wonder, I wonder if that, like, pops in and out of the wall. Maybe it looks like it might recess. Although, that would be really weird, too, to have, like, that... Hmm... Yeah, maybe that'd be really weird to have that section there. That thing, like, that you can't... The the bar, that's, that's what I'm looking for. Thank you, Brain. That bar that you couldn't really... Yeah, lean against the wall with. Hmm, strange. Alright, anyway. Let's go look over here. I'm just gonna have to be methodical and just search everything. Try to find out what's more about... Or find out more about what's going on here. 
I also quite like this, uh, I do like the layout here, like this is a nice hyper minimalist, yeah okay so these do recess into the wall. Yeah, the, I like these really minimalist style rooms. Yeah, those, those are actually really nice. Now, one of the things that I've kind of toyed around with in the past was, uh, or just I like learning about bullshit. The idea of, in order to fight stuff like homelessness or home pricing, just creating, creating a lot of like small apartment style stuff. And I've always wondered how, how much something like this would help with that. You know, give someone who is either extremely poor or otherwise homeless in some sense. Or, I mean, hell, just even establish this, like, an apartment like this as the minimum baseline level of housing. That way, you know, everyone has a little bit of privacy, they have a little bit of storage, they can lock up their stuff, they can maintain cleanliness and everything. And then, you know, whatever, maybe cut out a little section there for, like, a kitchenette or something so that people can actually, you know, cook in their homes if they want to save the money that way. Yeah, and I always wondered if that, how effective that would be as a method of fighting poverty. Because I think Utah in the U.S. did something like that. I think they... In a hurry. Yeah, it looks like they did. I think they went ahead and they just, like... I can't remember if they paid for hotels or if they just bought a bunch of, like, really cheap little mini housing units. Yeah, they did something like that, and I always thought that was an interesting way of handling the problem. Because, like, it makes me wonder, you know, comparatively, is that going to be cheaper overall? Because I feel like there is some good data that suggests that you could fight po or yeah, if you you could tackle the homelessness problem better just by creating cheap housing and just giving it away, more or less. Now that being said, too, like, you know, I'm looking at buying a house, I would find it incredibly, incredibly frustrating if I had to buy a house and, you know, other people were just giving them for free. But I mean, that's sort of just like that baseline level of selfishness that a lot of people have. So yeah, I don't know, it, stuff like that does make me think about certain, like, policy options. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, enough rambling about politics. Yeah, it looks like the corpse was in here. He leaves a body behind. Or more exactly, why? Was it really an accident? Or, like, a cover-up? Yeah, I'm gonna lean towards cover-up. Uh, let's go seal the door. Just because I don't really trust this. Uh, let's, yeah, let's head on down. What's behind door number two? Hang on, is this? Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah, the door, the doors will stay open once we pull power from them. I didn't, I didn't realize that. That's actually really convenient. Okay, well, what's being said in here? Okay, there's two bits of data. Security alert, and then, hey James, can you remind me what the name of that software was for data packing? Someone has been making a mess. Sort of. Tons of data saved. I wasn't expecting that that much. I need to find a different solution. Sure, I'll upload you on that. I'll upload you that in the share space. All right. So they had. Well, hang on. Let me. So yeah, they, this person, whoever it was, was emailing James. Wasn't there something back here too? I feel like I saw something pop up. Did I miss a tablet? I, I just want to make sure before I go continue exploring. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Because, yeah, there was this. I thought there was something else. But maybe I'm thinking of down here. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking of the other way. No, this is this is actually a, a nice little... Yeah, this is actually a nice looking game. It's, it's kind of interesting to play. Um, again, really, the... Just that shader is my only real problem with it so far. Alright, continuing on, let's go find what's down here. Thank you very- ooh, hello, okay, so this is a storage room. Let's see, there's another tablet. There's various supplies and sealed containers. And then what is in here? Discussion transcript, this message is generated automatically. Anton, please calm down. Yeah, right, okay. I just killed a man, damn it. And I want you to understand it'll be fine. You know collateral damage is part of your contract. S3 attacked, you replied, you are covered. So that's how it is, right? Contracts and stuff, nothing else. Look, I know you guys are perfectly fine doing whatever you're doing with them and not caring about consequences, but I'm not like this. May I suggest you get yourself together? We don't need someone freaking out on the ship now, nor when the mission's over. Take your time, rest a bit, but keep in mind we still need you. Wasn't a Anton was the security guy, right? Or uh, send me the blueprints for the custom K-18. 
Is everything all right? Please, needed 18. Or needed, needed ASAP. File transfer, BPK18, final BPM. Are you okay, Anton? Text me back, he got me worried there. That guy shot someone. Yeah, he was, uh... Yeah, Anton was the security guy, okay. Interesting. I mean, he well, he is a security guy, though. Like, what, what the hell was he expecting? Probably should go back to that splitter near the generator. I'm trying to wire that kitchen. This, oh, okay, so this is the game telling me, hey, dumbass, go backwards and check out the other area. Yeah, this is actually an interesting little thing. It's a little simple, but I, I do kind of like this whole rewiring mechanic. I, I actually think that's kind of cool. Okay, hold on, let me... Yeah, here we are. So this is the docking bay. And now can I... Yeah, I can go pull the wiring. And then I think... Okay, so I think we just went in a big circle. Let me go see. Is this the kitchen? No, this is the... Yeah, this... Oh, okay, I know where we are. Yeah, this is... Oh, okay. Here we go. So now that we have power, can I... Hang on, what is... What was past here? Where did this lead? Okay, this... Okay, this led to the east wing. Can I pull power from here and maybe send it to the east wing? Yeah, I can. I, I just want to... Uh, you know what? No, the game said, dumbass, go go do this. I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go run power to the best of my ability to where I think I'm going to need it. Okay, what are my options here? More stuff that way. Or to the north wing. Um, you know what? Let's, yeah, let's continue being methodical. I think I just powered this door, which I don't really need to do. So yeah, let's go, let's do that, but let's double check this room first, make sure that we're okay. Is there... Yeah, okay, so there's, there's this here, I can actually, I can scan through the computer system. S5 attacks on, re attacks on, or S5's attack on Rian was severe, we can't stabilize him. As hard as it is, we need to accept he'll probably die soon, and find a way to deal with this when we come back. Read, I'm getting some strange results here, tell me. I don't know how it's possible, but F5 seems to have be on a higher dose of Solus than what was planned. How could it be? You followed the protocol, right? I did, strictly. Listen, I don't want to be pointing fingers at anyone or anything, but this is weird and I thought you should be aware of this. Indeed, could this be linked to those behavior incidents we've seen with them? Too early to say, but maybe. So what exactly is Solus? What sort of shit were they doing to these people? I'll take the responsibility to officially end this experiment and call for an emergency evacuation right away. One test subject is currently out of control, his doses went above the threshold and we lost him. So far, he killed one of ours and Rion and at least two other subjects. There is no way, and I can't say that clearly enough, no way for us to get to neutralize him. Our best so chance so far is to make sure he can't get to us and we need to get out of there as fast as we can. I know you'd need a longer report and that it's out of our procedures. But you need to send the team ASAP. There will be a load of consequences to deal with in the long run, acknowledged. In the meantime, get us out of here now. And then needless to remind you, this trial is incredibly critical, and in many aspects. We need to get back on our feet, we need to lead the race again, we can't, we can't be anything other than number one, not this time. You know the risk as well as I do. Once over there, you and your team will be on your own, do what you must do, and I mean it. Come back here, alone if you must, I don't care. Cure that damn depression, be the damn hero you deserve to be. What? This is what they were doing here. Experimenting on people, out of any legal boundary, out of rules. It seems they were testing some sort of drug, suppressing feelings, depression, and it went damn wrong. Hmm, yeah, that's that that's a way of describing it. Okay, what is this? Meeting transcript, okay. Subject three interview is getting me worried. Uh well he seemed cooperative and ready to let it go until the trial's end, I'm doubting him. We caught him trying to persuade object subjects, so Solus was changing them in a wrong way. As hard and unplanned as it seems, I suggest we extract him from the trial at least for a bit. How would we do that exactly? I suggest we move us inside the storage room down there and turn it into an isolation cell. Are you crazy? But do we- no, come on, this is insane. We can't keep him here, it's too small, he'll spiral down. Caleb, please calm down. And what did we do next? He'll get out of the ship and be super happy about it? It's too much of a risk. She's right, this is outside of any clause of their contract. We need to first we need to find first how to deal with this. We need to anticipate though, Anton, that this is your next assignment. We must prepare that cell just in case. One air, okay, speak yeah, that's the undetected person. <clears throat> and that's probably Anton. 
All right, we're monitoring data on S3, so far no clear sign of why his brain will process the product. Caleb is trying to work on a model to see what could be tweaked. Marine has been asked to come up with the scenarios and the possible risks of letting him stay among the others. We just got this one coming from Subject 3. I kind of feel for the guy. Look, the medication doesn't help. They say it's a trial anyway, it's not over, but man is a disappointing. This whole life is darkness. I know most of us are here for the money, they carry on like it's nothing. It's unfair, it mattered to me. And here they all are, seemingly feeling better. Subject 3. They had people in here. And that one got put aside. There was an S3 mentioned on that tablet in the storage room. That has to be him. Yeah, interesting. So they were trying to cure people of depression, and then it ended up with them... With at least one subject going on like a killing spree? Okay, nope, we're not going down that door. That's a bad idea. Let's check out the other doors first. Wait, really? I can't I can't progress further down here? Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, wait, okay, so we just... Yeah, okay, so we just went in a big circle. Got it, got it. Let me... See, I, I wanna... I, I'm actually gonna pull this back briefly. I wanna go check what's in that other door first. Just because I'm curious. And then we can go... Yeah, then we can go all the way down into the pit and probably open up the storage room and have something bad happen. Oh shit, that's right. I didn't even realize that was welded. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, I guess that's what I get for checking. So yeah, let's go ahead... Let's divert out power, and let's go through the door down there. Um, this is a little bit of a walking simulator, more than I expected, but it is also kind of nice just to have something that seems to be mostly relying on the atmosphere of the game. I think this is welded as well, right? Yeah, this is. Okay. Yeah, anyway, it, it is nice, though, It's uh, because the atmosphere of this is actually pretty well done. It, it's an interesting feeling game, if nothing else. Yeah, I just realized this is actually like the captain's room. Now you know what? Let's go check out this before we go down the stairs. So, or this is the this is the bridge. I think that's the phrase I'm looking for. Uh, let's see. What? Well, is there an emergency generator anywhere around here? That's an extreme way to make sure that ship won't go anywhere. Oh wow, they destroyed everything. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Nope. I need to be methodical. Let's just be careful. Anything inside of here? Nope, this is all normal. Okay. What about going up and over? More crates, some weights. Yes, I wonder if this was the security guy's room. Yeah, this might have been Anton's room. Alright, what about here? Yeah, okay, there we go. So I was able to at least power on the door, but I, I can't divert power to anything. Oh, that okay. That's that's really weird to have like depth of field occurring in a pixel game. That that doesn't really look great. Okay, but what are you? <clears throat> okay, emergency code red. Discussion transcript was generated automatically. PS two five four. We are closing in on your position. Prepare team for extraction. It's about time. We'll all wait in the docking bay. Copy PS two five four. Under current procedure, I'm a force to remind you to proceed to ship disruption. And one warning, I no speaker classified. So it's okay. That's actually a pretty vanished. But they wanted that ship to stay here. It probably wasn't even supposed to be found. So if they I wonder why they wouldn't just like rig the ship up to slowly decompress. Cause like that seems like they'd be the most humane way to go. Instead of letting these poor fucking people starve to death, they could just like set it up so that they um, what do I try to say? They could just set it up so that they, like, slowly pass out from oxygen loss. Yeah, that, that, because that's actually supposed to be a pretty, a pretty easy way to go, all things considered. Wow, what is this? Well, it looks like somebody got very, very angry and smashed a door to pieces. And I bet this is storage room, isn't it? Yeah, okay, hold on. Let me go let me go find the generator. I wanna get power. Oh my it's it's really weird that like the generator isn't visible. It's not every day you deal with bodies just left there. 
let alone death itself. But this was... I mean, I had no explanation. What or who could have done such a thing? You know what? That's a really good question. I don't know. Interesting. Okay, maybe it wasn't Subject 3 then. Yeah, maybe Subject 3 wasn't the one who went rampant. Maybe it was somebody else. Maybe it was whatever's behind this big, big ass, like, lockdown security door. Okay, this would be the warning. Oh no, it's not. Interesting. The medication didn't help. They say it's a trial anyway. It's not over. Oh, okay, so that's, that's this thing here. And then I'm going crazy. They put me in here to protect me, they say. Protection, my ass. Their stupid drug didn't work on me. I saw what it was doing to the others. I'll be left to rot. Looks like that poor guy really believed in this drug. Yeah, it looks like he does. Poor bastard. Okay, what is... What is that? There's something back there. Let me, uh... Here, let me... Let me dive her power down this way first. I'm not liking the fact that there's some spooky bullshit going on here. Uh, also, interesting that this is... Huh, okay. You know what? Let's not open up the security door quite yet. Let me let me look and see. What do I... Yeah, what's around me here? Nothing besides the tablet, really. Okay, come on, game. Let's go. I... Oh, okay, I was still in scan mode. Oops. Or wire mode. Read, I'm getting some strange results here. Okay, so this is... This is, I think, the other side of that conversation. Security alert, and then following S5 incidents, here's the current situation. Normal subject, keen docile. They're docile. First results normal, slightly ahead of simulations. Seems to be higher on solace than other subjects, still need to determine how it happened. Multiple indicators starting to show deregulation. He became unstable. Attacked Rian and medical. Attacked S1 in the corridor. We're unable now to find a way to stop him. Caleb is expressing doubt we could even do something at all. Reed is currently working on what could be our next step. Of the other people still. What could have happened to them? I mean, you do realize that that's a pretty straightforward answer, right? Like, they probably are all dead. I mean, that seems like the most obvious potential answer to that question. Yeah, I, I'm actually... I, like, this game is damn atmospheric, and it does a good job of having a, a creepy... Yeah, just a creepy general atmosphere, although... Wow. Okay, you bit it hard, holy shit. Okay, so apparently this Solus drug, or whatever they were giving people, also had the chance to turn them into the Hulk. Okay... That's worrying. Why couldn't they just shoot them to death? I mean, they, they definitely have at least one person here with a gun. I still have a hard time processing what's going on. Not gonna lie, I'm a bit shook. It never has been mentioned this trial was supposed to be on a ship. We all wonder where we're going now. We'll see anyway. Too much money at stake. We have to comply. They didn't know what they would end up into. Can't say I'm surprised. Yeah, these guys signed up for the wrong trial, I think. They put their faith in the wrong group of people. So, let's... God, see, I want to... Like, I don't want to miss stuff. I don't want to miss things, so... I kind of want to go back and check that other security door. Because I, I don't know which way to actually go, so I kind of have to just go back and forth and be methodical. I do really like, though, that you can... Yeah, like, what we're doing is we're basically diverting stuff along a physical wire that you can see on the floor. That's kind of nice, as opposed to just being sort of nebulous and, like... Locked. Okay, so this is a locked security door. Got it. As opposed to just being, like, through the walls, like the other sections. You know, th this is a nice bit of variety. Yeah, this, uh... Oop, damn it. Game? Okay, what is, what is going on here? Okay. Yeah, okay, that, that's a little bit weird, but I don't know... <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if there's a better way of doing it or not. <clears throat> yeah, let's see, again, though, right? This guy has clear indications that there is something bad happening here, right? I mean, we've got nothing but indications that there has been murder, there has been destruction, there has been death. Why wouldn't... Oh shit, don't tell me that I, I could have powered that up and come here. Um, but yeah, there's been nothing but like death and destruction, and this guy's just wandering freely around here. That just seems like a terrible idea. 
Okay, anything inside of here? Nope. Anything back here? God, there is so much blood. I mean, this is definitely more than one human being worth of blood. Yeah, there's that here. So, what was it then? Did did Solus like? Yeah, did did Solus somehow? What am I hearing? What is that noise? I don't like that. Yeah, there's like smoke. No, what is that noise that I'm hearing? And why is my guy like freaking out and breathing so heavily? That's worrying. Yeah, okay, so I think... <clears throat> okay, flashlight, this is not the time for you to die. Oh, Jesus, what in the fuck? <clears throat> Hold on. What the hell is this? I feel like I shouldn't approach this. Yeah, I feel like going anywhere near that is just going to get me killed, but... I don't think I really have other options. Yeah, what the fuck? Okay, so what's gonna happen? Am I just gonna... Oh, okay, so it's a cutscene. Okay, see, again, like... Do people not have... What in the hell? Yeah, what is this? Oh, show. Okay, why, why is it glowing purple? What's going on? Yeah, like, do, do they not have a protocol for dealing with, like, potential first contact shit? Like, this is clearly some sort of alien nonsense. Speechless. As fast as I could. Then I flew out of this place. As fast as I could, too. It's been two weeks now. And I still can't wrap my head around what I saw in this ship. Can't either on the big picture. Who did this? Why? And how? Is that ship supposed to be recovered one day? What did they say to those people's families? There's so much we don't know in this universe. And here I am, still not knowing what to do with all of this. But I guess that'll be for another day. Good night. And that was Solus. That was really enjoyable. Um, great voice acting. Really, f it was simple gameplay, and it was very much a walking simulator. But especially at the end there, I was feeling pretty tense. You know, th this was just overall really well done. Um, like I said earlier, I mean, my only real complaints are just the fact that because it's an Unreal game, it runs like shit on my system, and I still have yet to figure out why. And. <sighs> Yeah, it's this goddamn pixelation shader. That's really it. <laughs> like, but without those, this would be really, really good. <sighs> yeah, and I know that's not really fair, and I know that's like, that is being a bit of a graphic snob asshole, but yeah, I just, I don't like that. I don't like that look in so many of these games. Because it makes it damn difficult to see what the hell is going on. But I mean, overall, this was really enjoyable. I had a lot of fun playing this. This was really well done. Developer, great work. You have a talent for building world, and the writing was actually overall pretty decent. There was maybe a little bit too much of it, but I mean, this was like a half an hour long game. I really can't hate on it too much. So yeah, th this was just an enjoyable experience, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. So if you did enjoy the video, if you wouldn't mind, please leave a like or leave a comment. How did you feel about this game? How did you feel about the world? What do you think was happening there? You know, what do you think, uh, what do you, what do you think it would have been an appropriate solution to just try to blow the ship up? Or do you think we made the right call and just running the hell out? And if you're new to the channel, if you enjoyed the video, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I would really, really appreciate it. And for everybody else, thank you very much for watching Solus. I hope you enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you in another video very soon.